guess I didn't think this one through. Don't park on piles of puddles of water. Oh. Look at that raptor. Corporate America, botch. Rebel. Hmm, I wonder what they're offering. Eco Diesel V6. Looks like it's leaking. guys we were back in the truck just got the appraisal honestly I wasn't too uh, wasn't too surprised about it I was doing a lot of research online about this and all that kind of stuff numbers and pricing and all that really interests me so I was looking at it before but some of you guys may be surprised at what the results are of or what they offered me sorry about the darkness there but yeah it's it's uh, it's probably gonna surprise a lot of you guys actually so let me actually head to one more place and then we'll reveal what the appraisal was. I have the paper with me, the official papers, so it's not going to be any uh, nonsense. I'm not going to be lying to you guys. Got the facts right here. I did check out an Eco Diesel for the first time in person. I've never actually checked one out before, but that was actually pretty cool. I didn't get to test drive it, though. Uh, someone's actually uh, looking for it and probably going to buy it. See, it's pretty crazy how CarMax works because. They can pull in vehicles from all over the country to you and then they'll even hold it for you and if you even if you don't decide you don't you don't want it then it's free you don't have to pay a fee for that or anything but of course if there is a fee to transfer it there which some of them are free but there's if there is a free to transfer it there if it's from really far away then of course you're still gonna end up paying the fee if you don't want it but if it's a free transfer to that dealership that wherever that car max is near you and you decide you don't want it after you check it out and everything, they won't charge you anything. It's actually pretty cool. Dealers are all against each other. Every single dealer is always like, oh, I'm making more sales than that one, or like, oh, I'm trying to pull in more of their sales. But CarMax kind of works together. It's centralizing and bringing everything together. And I don't know if that's a good thing, because, I mean, it's just one big, giant business. Even though dealerships, I mean, are all are part of a big brand, they're still against each other. and. I don't know. It's kind of a weird. I, I kind of like the dealership concept better. Not, I don't really care about negotiation and everything. That's fine. I like doing that. But some people don't. So that's why CarMax thrives. So I did bring a bolt with me this time to actually get the right size. And you'll see what this is for later. But uh, yeah. Lock that. So if you wanted to see the height difference between a Ford and a Ram. See, originally I thought they were skyscrapers compared to all the other truck, heavy-duty trucks. But realistically, that's not the case. It's pretty close here, man. And the tires are smaller on the rim. Just got them out of this drawer there. We got them. Good to go. Let's go. Let her rip, tater chip. Oh my. Oh, oh. Makes me, makes me <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, we got it. Hold on. There we go. Sorry about that. Let me close the door. So we got some important stuff here. 
Loud ram just went by. So I got some Krylon automotive undercoating paint, and this is the official aerosol of NASCAR. Amazing, that's why I had to buy it, you know? <laughs> and then the second thing, well actually a lot of the second thing actually is that I got eight black bolts. They're 125 by 30, or one, yeah, 1.25 by 30 bolts. I got eight of those. I think they were like 83 cents a piece, right around there. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we're about to head home now, and then we'll get to the appraisal and the price that you guys have been waiting for, and really the purpose of this video. Wow, that diesel smells. Wow, very American of you. <laughs> I got the offer, appraisal, whatever you want to call it, in my hand right now. Figured I'd stop by this car to give you guys a look around of what is being appraised for especially the new viewers that want to know what their diesel will go for. So a little information on the truck. It is a 6.7 Cummins Ram 4th Gen 2011. Of course we got, you know, engine deletes, we got an intake, we got a straight pipe exhaust. This thing is loud, let's be honest here. Even the engine noise is loud, but Interior is pristine. The truck looks really nice. There's a lot of touch up here. Higher miles for the model year, but I don't think it's all the Oh, yeah, they also noted that the exhaust is missing the cat, and I guess that's all they really care for with the truck is the cat nothing else when it comes to the diesel so that's pretty cool and they ran my bin and put all the other options in so it's exactly for what this truck is so let's say maybe you have a laramie same year though same diesel and everything well you may get more out of it because it's a different package but this is a slt big horn and it's a obviously a 2500 truck let's just say the exact average of what i guess the appraisal price was going to be was spot on i gave a range but if you take the average of that range that i gave was this exact price here that i'm holding in my hand right now so yeah this is uh this probably could be shocking to a lot of you guys a lot of you guys maybe not because of the modifications that i have to the truck and all right are you ready for this carmax appraisal sixteen thousand dollars for my fourth gen ram that is all i will get for this truck and i'm hiding personal information on the paper but that is what I'll get for this truck. And I have a week to claim the price, but honestly, that kind of sucks. Carmack's appraisal, man. Not very fair, man. <laughs> so they do take a look also of what I have under the hood. So let's see how obvious my engine mods are. I did mention I have an intake, the exhaust, stuff like that. So I think so what my opinion is on that price i mean i think that's low i see these things go up for upwards of like 30 35 thousand dollars and of course you've got to find that buyer now they're just basically going off of how many miles the year of the vehicle it's not really down to this being a cummins diesel engine we're talking about here <laughs> just kidding guys but yeah that that is a low offer i'm not i'm not offended by the price at all i wasn't getting angry or anything i just kind of took the price i was like yeah i'll think about it or whatever but i know i can go elsewhere and get more money i just figured i'd see what i could get for this cummins diesel ram right here <laughs> but yeah all in all i love this truck so much and if i were to sell it at that price whoever whoever gets it's gonna love it a lot more than me i I'll tell you that because they'd probably price it pretty low and that's the carmax price of the truck so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you love trucks as much as I do, hit that subscribe button. Have a nice day.